I'm Donna Kovannon. I'm the director of marketing for Zycon North America, and I'm going. I'm joined by my colleague James Murphy. Zycon was acquired by the Flint Group, which is a 2.1 billion euro company. We have about 7,500 employees worldwide. Flint again is a very large company with 140 sites in 40 countries, and. Specifically, Zycon is a company that is based in Belgium, and we have a North America headquarters outside of Chicago. The Zycon vision is really to connect everyone in a digitally um, enabled world and to really help transform that digital world and within our specific segments. And the segments that we focus on at Zycon from the left to the right. So pre-press, we have a division called Thermoflex and they provide um, pre-press mostly for newspaper and again for offset, offset markets. And the Zycon that Jim and I represent cover the graphic arts market, the label market and the packaging market, which of course we're here to talk with you today about. So again, Zycon designs, builds, installs, um, and maintains the digital presses that focus again on these markets with these specific applications. So just a little bit, I won't go into this slide, but you can see the very long history and track record that Zycon has been in the market. Um, it's over 31 years now. So a little bit about our technology. So we are what we like to call ourselves as technology agnostic. And what does that mean? That means that we offer dry toner technology as well as UV inkjet technology. So we help guide and again are the go-to advisor for our customers depending on the work that they're doing, the customers that they're serving, and we can offer up which technology fits again for the work jobs that, that you happen to be doing. So here are some of our presses. These are our dry toner simplex presses. And again, very suitable for the label and packaging market. Uh, robust presses starting on the left-hand side with our Cheetah series. And we go from 13 inches up to 20 inches. On our UV inkjet line, so it's uh, fondly referred to as our Panther series. And we have uh, two presses in that, both our four and five color, as well as our toner presses. At Zycon, of course, we don't sell just a press, right? It's a whole suite. It's a solution comprising of the workflow, of course, the pre and post equipment. We work, we work with several substrate manufacturers and vendors, as well as, of course, um, consumers and consumables, including varnishes and lamination. And Jim will talk a little bit about that for the heat transfer. So the, the bottom line of this busy chart is that certainly the, the printed volume of labels is going up. And, and the reason for that, of course, has a lot to do with short turnaround times, many more SKUs that people are dealing with, customization, uh, personalization. So all of the benefits of digital apply to the label market. So that's where you're seeing, in fact, growth across um, basically all of, of these geographies in the label market. You'll also notice on the left-hand side, and while the dotted line might, excuse me, on the right-hand side, while the dotted line might seem a little scary when you just take a look at the numbers, You'll notice that as anything else in the market, as um, more and more is available, that sometimes price uh, prices are declining, but still a pretty healthy price in terms of uh, the retail price of the, of the label. So again, what is it what that you you would be able to sell it for? So you know these six items: so small small runs that are more cost effective, faster turnaround time. Uh, printing variable, logistical data, reduced inventory to personalize, as well as to do late stage customization within your workflow process. Coming back to the technology that Zycon offers, again, both the dry toner as well as the UV inkjet. So this, this illustrates what is kind of the best fit technology for a particular type of label. A couple of points on our X800 software. 
So again, this is our digital front end and it is a uh, hot folder type of a setup, very easy to, to learn and to use. No matter what the application, be it for food, pharma, wine spirits, of course, beverages, health and beauty, chemical and durables, we have a solution either from a dry toner perspective or a UV inkjet perspective, um, as well as finishing that can be done inline or offline, die cutting, varnishing, and also uh, laser die cutting, all supported with our X800 software. I'm going to touch a little bit on a couple of the Zycon solutions, primarily, like Donna said, the heat transfer labels. And I'm also going to talk probably our newest solution, which would be uh, our flexible pouches. And it's a very exciting solution that we've uh, we've developed. Um, variable data and megadata. We think in today's uh, world, especially with wine and spirits, we want to have a lot more uh, traceability. Track and trace, variable data, being able to uh, have numbering on each package. And that is only possible with digital. We can make every every container, every bottle, every package unique to itself so that we can see where it's been purchased, how many times it's purchased, where it's being used. Uh, a lot of data comes out of that for marketing purposes and inventory purposes. Here, I'm gonna show you a video. I'll let this video run and I'll kind of give you an idea of the complete Zycon heat transfer solution. Manufacturing and application of a Zycon digitally printed heat transfer label is done. This label is an industrial heat transfer label being applied to a polypropylene plastic pail. The paper manufacturer provides the base heat transfer label paper stock with a proprietary release coating. In some cases, this paper first requires a flood coated primer to be applied. This primer allows the Zycon toner to be bonded and fused to the coated release. Here we show a substrate that has been pre-primed offline. As the image being printed is in reverse for heat transfer labels, the print stations are reversed. Black is printed first and the final print station is white. A final flood or patterned white is used if the label is being applied to a dark or colored container or product. Remember that the final heat transfer label is comprised only of the Zycon toner. No backing or liner is applied to the final container or product. The Zycon 3500 press runs a 508 millimeter or 20 inch wide web. This allows to print two labels across for 20 liter or five gallon containers. With a printing speed of 19.2 meters or 63 feet per minute, the press provides a yield of roughly 2,800 labels per hour. The Zycon industrial heat transfer label can now be further finished inline or offline. In this case, an adhesive will be applied before rewinding the label. Before the adhesive is applied, the web is run through a Corona treater that adapts the surface tension of the labels. It allows for a smooth and even bond of the adhesive to the toner. A web guide ensures proper alignment of the paper during the different finishing steps. A U-coat applies a flood water-based adhesive with a flexo station. The analog's roller and accurately positioned doctor blade ensure a consistent amount of coating on the web. After coating, the water-based adhesive is run through a hot air dryer. When the label is dried, it is wound up as a master roll. Offline, this master roll is then slit into individual production rolls. The finished rolls are taken to the heat transfer label decorator. A non-mandrel round pail decorator from Tronics will apply the finished heat transfer label onto a pail. The decorator first pre-treats the surface of the container, in this case a pail, with an open air gas flame. This treatment ensures that the surface of the pail has the correct surface tension or dine level. Using a heated silicon rubber roller and pressure, the heat transfer label is then transferred onto the pail. This pressure and heat allows the label to bond to the pail and become an integral part of the pail. A printed index mark on the label and an electronic eye on the Tronix decorator are used to start and stop the application of the label so it aligns correctly on the pail. After the label is transferred and bonded to the pail, the same open flame head that provided the pretreatment now applies a post-treatment. This post-treatment seals the label bond and brings out the gloss in the label release. The pails, decorated with a Zycon digitally printed heat transfer label, are now ready for shipping or for sending directly to the fill line. Uh, let's talk a little bit about our pouch solution. I think it's appropriate for this forum to talk about uh, this. Uh, we're seeing a lot of uh, uh, flexible pouches in, in, the, in this industry for wine and spirits. 
Um, and we have the, the uh, a perfect solution for that for short run digital printing. These are some of the samples that we are currently printing. Uh, a lot for the food being our food safe product, um, but we're uh, definitely getting into where we're putting fitments in for beverages. Thank you.